Hello guys and uh, welcome to Top Channel 101. So I've just watched a video by CG Mata. It's, a, it's an amazing video about this new AI that can generate PBR uh, materials uh, by just your text prompt. So they have this library and uh, he explained it very well in the video. So I would recommend you to watch uh, the video. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description uh, for you to check out. But uh, basically what it does is they have this search box. It's a search box but, but it's also uh, an AI text prompt. Uh, input so you can either search for whatever text you want uh, these are all pbr materials but uh, you can also just type in whatever you want maybe uh road and uh, just use this generate button to generate the text for you so as it generates here uh, i want to talk about something here because it feels like ai tools are, are things that are give you with one hand and then take away with another uh, because this sounds very awesome to artists but uh, i'm also looking at businesses like polygon andrew price's polygon uh, blender guru and uh, poly i think is it poly haven and uh, most of the add-ons on blender markets that sell uh, these materials because as an artist this may sound really really great but uh, you have to you can't just make art for uh, the fun of it. It's, it's, it has to be sustainable. And for a lot of artists, they manage to do that by selling what they, the, the kind of work they produce or selling resources like materials, textures. And uh, we're starting to see a lot of tools, AI tools that uh, can just, that are encroaching on that uh, business model uh, that basically want to do away with that uh, business model. It's really, really a powerful tool and uh, I will definitely be using it myself, but uh, it's also scary as well because just selling your three, your art is not a viable option anymore because we have things like a uh, mid journey and uh, and uh, I think Adobe Fly. I think uh, if you saw the video I published a few days ago, uh, that uh, is that has this AI tool that uh, you can use to uh, that you can use within Photoshop to just generate. Not an entire image, but uh, parts of an image where we want it. Maybe you want a, a bug. Maybe you want a product image in your Photoshop render, and uh, you don't have it. You don't. You don't need to buy stock images, which is one other way that uh, artists were making money. You can just hit hit generate, and uh, uh, Photoshop will, Adobe Fly will generate the bug for you and uh, place it where you want it. Uh, maybe you're thinking of maybe buying a 3D render of the model uh, so that you can get different angles. Now uh, Adobe Fly can also do that, can provide a different angles of a uh, said bug and I just use that uh, that way. So uh, we, we're starting to see a lot of areas where artists could actually make money being uh, just, it's just pulling the rug out under your, your, your feet. So. Uh, it's, it's an amazing tool and uh, maybe you, you could uh, try it yourself and see if it's useful to you but uh yeah this this takes a, a bit of time to to generate uh but uh yeah ai tools are getting faster so even when this takes a lot of time to generate i think it by the time you watch this it might even have sped up the the generation process but uh yeah i'm going to leave a link to uh to sigi sigi matters uh our video uh, if you want to look at it uh, he explains and even gives you a demo on how, on how it works but it basically works like uh, any pbr texture so it gives you a bunch of uh textures uh the, the diffuse normal maps and everything and you can just plug it in like any regular materials but uh yeah so that's and um, so that's uh i don't know i don't know if uh polygon is going to uh, pivot because if you if you start to see one like this, you're going to see other competitive, other competitors or other websites or platforms trying to pro to provide uh, the same thing. We have already seen add-ons that already do that within Blender. You don't even have to go out of Blender. The only limitations they had is that uh, they took a little bit longer to generate the textures, and they're also not providing the best images. But the quality I'm seeing from this, although it takes a lot of time to generate the textures, uh, is is really good. Ah, uh, you can see. I think these are some of the generated ones. Yeah, because I remember I typed in. So you can see uh, some of the roads are uh, they generated. They're really high detail textures, and uh, again they come with all the necessary that's where we are um and i've also tried to pivot my own business in different angles but uh, every angle i'm looking at is uh it's a bit scary because it feels like every where you look there is an ai coming there so you have to position yourself where you're not going to be re irrelevant the moment you invest uh resources into that area but uh, it doesn't feel like there is any place that you can go 
uh, that is not going to be encroached anytime soon. So this is space to look at. And uh, yeah, if, if you are if you want to start a business in, uh, in 3D, maybe this is something you have to take serious uh, because you don't want to spend hundreds of uh, dollars, uh, thousands of dollars into projects that are, are not really going are going to be replaced in a matter of month. Uh, so and uh, that's this is a really big competitor for websites like Polygon and uh, half of the plugins on the Blender Market page. Yeah, so this is a space I'm trying to uh, to to look at, and that's why you see that uh, most of my videos now are I'm, I'm creating a lot of content uh, related to AI and just uh, relevant news around the industry because right now it's there is a lot of turbulence. Uh, to, wa to watch out for and uh, see where we can reposition yourself because this is a, I think this year is going to be about uh, repositioning uh, ourselves as artists to know where we, it's going to be, where we are going to be, uh, be more relevant because uh, however much uh, art is supposed to be fun and uh, yeah, for some people even a hobby uh, is you to, to make it sustainable is really hard without uh, uh, earning earn, earning from it and uh, the many ways uh, that uh, we have been able to earn from this um, are being shaked up. So, yeah, some interesting news for you. Um, uh, yeah, link again to the C to the CG Matter video are going to be in the description. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering what I'm working on, I'm working on uh, this swamp generator, and uh, you can see how I'm progressing. I'm planning on uh, releasing a tutorial maybe tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so like this is where I'm at, and uh, it's also based off a curve object. So I like using curves a lot because uh, yes, you just draw the shape of the pond. Yeah, I still have a few issues I, I, I have to fix, but uh, yeah, you can see that uh, it's, it's starting to, sh to to take shape. You can even see the where the water is going to be and uh, where the landscape is going to be. And uh, these are two separate layers. Yeah, so watch out for that tutorial coming soon. Thank you.